Right everyone, I've got up here to Hill Farm. Shoot Shelf Hill over there. I just walked up the lovely little lane and you can see already that wind is back. I hope it's behind me. <laughs> and it feels nippy. It does feel nippy, so I'm leaving my jumper on. I had thought of taking my jumper off. Um, this is called Cross Plain, by the way, here. Old gate. This is called Cross Plain. There's one person gone ahead of me. Here's a sign, Borton Farm. Winscombe, Winscombe, half a mile. Compton Bishop, one mile. I'm not going to Compton Bishop, that's another place I forgot. Kingswood, which is where I sometimes come up from that way if I've done the strawberry line. And then, uh, yeah, there we go. I'm going up here today. I think I need to do something energetic to keep warm. But uh, you can go that way and go round the hill. I did that last year. Um, there was a bike ride on. That is a... Now the man who was in front of me, he's actually up the top now. He's got shorts on, dressed for the summer, but like I said, you get hot going up. But there, it isn't warm, that wind, by the way. But I'm going up there. So I'll just do a little bit more videoing and it doesn't look like he's heading for the trick point either. He's already bearing right. There's the old bumpy track going up but I go, I got that one as well. There we go, nobody coming, we've got the whole place. And a month or so ago I was exploring Shoot Shelf Hill, I was going up the drove. Um, exploring different pathways. I can see Glastonbury sticking out a bit, right over there, that's another trip I've got to do, which involves trains and buses, so I need to go to the Chalice Well, hand in some info, and look for some books, that's my plan there, and have a nice cake and sandwich there, oh yeah I've got lots of plots planned, that's, um, I don't know, there's these lovely trees here. Not quite sure. I've got a feeling they might be maple. They're not oak. There might be an oak mixed in. Right then, I'm done turn off now, folks, as I go uphill. Shoot shelf hill over there in the aerial. Trick point. Glastonbury, very, very faint in the distance over there. It's too cloudy to see it. Same with Brent Knoll. That way. Now I'm going to try and make a conservative effort to try and keep this camera still. Uh, I'm using my arms as tripods but it still seems to sway. I'm not quite sure how to move my body. If I move my body with the camera, maybe that's better. I'm not going to video all of this but I'm not, this is my way and right over there we've got Crook Peak. Right over there. There it is, I'm going right into it. There we go, we're heading for that. And I, I've been on this stretch before now, singing David Bowie, Everyone Says Hi. So for you, David Bowie, I'm not going to sing it, just a couple of sentences. Right, here we go for David Bowie and fans. 
Everyone says hi. Everyone says hi, hi, hi. They said you went on a big ship. They said you sailed away. Didn't have the words to say. I should have got a letter saying what is what. Hope the weather's good, not too hot for you. Everyone says hi, everyone says hi. Don't stay in a bad place if they don't care how you are. Everyone says hi. Everyone says hi, hi, hi. Everyone says hi. Hi, David Bowie up in the sky. Hi, David Bowie and fans and all the other people. <sighs> Just a few words. I sang the whole tune here. I carried a piece of paper, had written the words down. And uh, it just seemed an appropriate place to sing that song here. Such a happy walk, I find this bit. You know, you're right up here, you've got gorgeous views. And he liked Glastonbury, and we've got Glastonbury over there. And, uh, yeah, he played there in 2000. A long time ago now, 23 years ago he played there. He, and before that was 40 years before. And he's one of those people who's never ever. People will be doing their GCSE, O level and A levels on David Bowie. He, uh, he, he touches all age groups, especially now. Most of us are his age and just a bit younger. I am I'm five years younger than him. I was into, we were into all sorts of music. In the early days, he didn't dominate. We had the Beatles, we had the Kinks, we had Bob Dylan, we had Joan Baez. God, there were so many bands. Elton John, do you know what I mean? The Cure, everyone was around. It was so much choice and we liked them all. It's only when you reflect back and you think, God, I remember that song playing. Like, I can remember the big jukebox at my college and read him. And quite often it was playing the Mars tune of David Bowie. I think it came out that year. It was on all the time. And, uh, and those sort of things bring back those memories of your student days and that. Music does that, doesn't it? So anyway, just a little mention of David Bowie, who I really appreciate his art and music. And of course John Lennon and all that lot as well. Uh, loads of people, just loads of them, all contributed to that very great time of music. That explosion of music. Music has always played a part, but there was a type of revolution going on in the 60s and 70s. It was started, of course, in the 40s and 50s. Even the 20s with the Charleston and everything. Before that, it was boring opera. And, uh, you know, do you know what I mean? Going to con those sort of concerts. It opened up the wild side of human beings, I think. <sighs> the need to be free from the Victorian chains. Right, over and out. Right, I've come down, I'm coming downhill now. There's Crook's Peak ahead, dominating the skyline. Brent Knoll over there. I'm hoping the sky will clear a little bit more so I can get Glastonbury. Always difficult to get Glastonbury because um, it's always hazy and misty down in the Vale of Avalon. I've got a really good video, I won't have to do Glastonbury tour probably again for a while because I'd done a really good video last year in a heat wave. It was really good, it came out really well. It'll be a I think I've even saved it to my tree that one. 
I've saved it to Mary Alice Buttons as well. She's in my tree. I'm letting that woman go ahead on purpose. Someone else will come. I just, I like being, um, I don't know, I like walking alone really. And she probably does. People come out on their own for a reason. Because she want to be, she's got a dog. Another day she might come out with friends, you know. I mean, this is how it is with us. Sometimes we need the space. I know I do. I love the space. Of walking alone. I love it. I love it. I really do. Yeah, there was a bloke ahead of me. He's gone way back. Big, long, tall bloke. Big, long legs. He would have been at the top ages ago having his picnic. Yeah, he had um, summer clothes on, so he's easy to identify. Now, with my old camera, my Sony, with its brilliant viewfinder, I could zoom right to the top and see who's sitting on top. Can't with this. Can't see a thing. But I've had to put it on hold buying expensive cameras this year to see because of the economy going crazy. And in a way, breaking my wrist saved me from buying a car. For, for now. Because it's crazy and I don't think it's going to get any better. I think everything's just going to get worse. I'm getting less well off each time. So basically what it is, I give them, they tax me more, they um, put all everything up, it's just ridiculous how food's gone up, it's sort of doubled, trebled if not in some cases, food has, and I still like to have my food, you know, I like to eat healthily, I mean I've got all my veg I love to eat, And I like, I like the salads from Tesco's. Today I've brought cheese, just a piece of cheese, a lovely large tomato grown on the vine, a packet of hoops, an arrow, a bounty, um, a note bar, an orange, Enough for a day's walk. There might be something else as well. I've forgotten. No bananas today. I didn't get, haven't got any bananas at the moment. Um, I just thought I'd video a bit while the wind was uh, dropped. And it's actually warmer here. Nice view of Brownwell Wood over there. And we'll be coming in for a nice view of Brownwell Hillfort. It's more like a plateau, it's a very flat fort over there. Oh, the woman's gone down, she's doing a different circular, obviously she's going, I've done that circular that she's doing. She'll go down along the bottom path, it's a lovely, it's a lovely walk along the drove. Um, if you don't want to do too much, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely walk. There's no one about, that's why I like coming out midweek. It's only Wednesday. I've come out midweek. There's uh, so kids all at school. I can see a lot of people on top of uh, the peak. I'm not going to bother zooming in. Um, yeah, you will get people up there having picnics. I sometimes don't always bother going up there, by the way. Um, but I think I probably will today, but I don't necessarily have me. I might walk, keep on this side. Sometimes I go in a field and walk through and climb the stile at the end. I sometimes do that. Right, I'm going to turn off now and take some photos of everyone.
I took some photos of um, there's a somebody come in just down now look they might even sit on the seat and have a picnic